G'day everyone! Uh, today I've got a really fun project for you. We're gonna do a brushstroke mermaid tutorial and I brought along a really special guest. This is my family. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Steve. And this is Bianca, but I'm sure you already know that. But she's not excited to be here. Um, <laughs> Steve's gonna do the tutorial alongside me so you can see just how simple it is. And uh, if you wanna try it yourself, have a go and share it on social media and we'd love to see it. So we're gonna do the basic first. We're gonna do the basic tutorial. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then we're gonna do one that's a lot more decorative and then after that I've got a bunch of examples to show you how I work with the tutorial and how I create it in my art journals. So stick around for the end if you want to see all the examples and try it. Fingers crossed it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye. Hi everyone, today I've got my special guest Steve. Hello, hi Davin Party. <laughs> so what we're going to do is do the basic uh, tutorial first and then the second one we're going to do together is we're going to get real crazy with decorating. So we need some magic wands and I think we're going to choose red because Red will be easier to show up on camera, but if when you're gonna do it, you can use a light color so it'll mm, blend in. Heartthrob, appropriate. <laughs> I got flamingo, because you're dramatic. What? Okay. <laughs> We're gonna do, the, it's basically shapes. It's a circle and a couple triangles. So I'm gonna freehand my circle up here. I have to use a stencil. Steve loves to use a stencil. <laughs> it's because I can't draw a good circle. All right, now we're gonna put a little line off for the neck. Now we're gonna do a little triangle. This is going to be our shoulder area. Now we're going to do a triangle upside down. And this is her bodice. Alright, now we're going to do another little triangle. These are our hips. It can be big or little. It can be an hourglass or a... Well, I want it to look proportional. Now we're going to draw a line underneath that. The same width as that triangle. And now we're going to put a dot or a point somewhere down on the page. And this is where this triangle is going to connect to. And I kind of curve the lines. Oh, I don't like that. I'm going to curve that in a little more. Now, I just like to freehand my tail, my um, fins or whatever they're called. But Steve likes to put his in a little dot. So he'll put two dots where he wants the tail to finish. Is it okay if they touch? Yeah. Okay. And then he's going to that's it. Curve one line up and curve one line down. Oh man. Sorry. You should see the angle that he's drawing at. <laughs> Twisted pretzel. <laughs> All right. The arms, let's just keep them real simple and just do two curved sticks. Whatever. It looks exactly the same. No, <laughs> yours are like dramatic. All right. Let's put a little thumb on. Huh? So basically what you're going to do is it needs, the thumb comes in towards the body. So do like half a triangle coming to pointing towards the body. So if you were going to draw two arrows towards the body, but just don't make them like so severe. Like that way? That yeah, way? that's it. Okay. That's it. Okay. And now you're going to take that same idea and put in the other way. Mm, ballet hands. Mm -hmm. She's got big hands. She's got huge hands. <laughs> That's mm. alright. And then I like to put a little point off here. So big. So that it looks like she's a little dainty and delicate. How do I do this? That's it. <laughs> she looks like she has twigs. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Look, this this is the base. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. And um and it's just representational. It's not it doesn't have to be specific. Alright, let's draw in it's a like face. Snowman hands. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put a line right down the middle of the face. Alright. Uh, then we're just going to halve that as well, this way. So <laughs> then we're going to halve that half. And then we're going to halve that half. This is old school techniques, I definitely didn't come up with this. I'm going to put a circle here just to show you in big what we're doing. So we've put a half, like a cross, and we've halved that and halved that. Right down here is going to be our mouth, so we want to do a little U shape. So I'm going to put my little U up here. So do I need, it needs to be in the middle of this one too, right? Yeah, so you just want to cross these two lines. Yeah, just a U. That's it. And then we're going to put a little stroke just on that line. Yeah. And then we're going to do an M. Or magic. That's it. 
Steve's got really pouty lips. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's had a bit of a lip filler at the top. All right, now on this middle line here, you just want to do a little stroke for the nose. Like that? Yeah, keep it really simple. Just a little stroke. And now in here, you kind of want to halve these. So Steve's got a, Steve's is looking off a little sideways. So this half is about here and this half is here. Am I doing it correctly? Yeah, that's it. You just halve it. All right, now we just want to do some circles. Let me scribbly. Does it matter? You just want to uh, cross both of those lines. The bigger the circle eyes, the cuter she'll look. Now you just want to take kind of like that U shape that we did for the bottom of the mouth. You want to flip it and just put it on top of the eyes. Can you show me here? Yeah, so we're going to go... Look good. And now I wouldn't complete anything without a lash. So I'm going to put on a couple of lashes. Never. I love lashes. Just flick them out. Can I just make go crazy with mine? Yeah. All right, now for the hair, I like to keep it real simple uh, because everyone's got a different style of hair they like to do. I just like to do an M, just off center. And then just connect those to the edge. And now you can put in little ears if you want. You can go crazy on the face. My girl's cross-eyed. But we'll go in with ink. Kind of, yeah, we'll go in with ink. Yep, from the nose to the mouth, in those two lines, you can just connect little ears. Like that? Yep. All right, so this is a great base to start with. She has broke ears. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this Japanese Sumai-e calligraphy ink. Hmm, too late. Now this is where it gets a little intimidating, but I promise it's not the end of the world. Do, do, can I put this back? Yeah, put it back. All right, so we've got some Sumai-e calligraphy ink. I've got a calligraphy brush because I like the brush stroke look. And Steve's just got a round brush uh, for a little more control. Now what you're going to do is just start soft and paint in that little neck. Does it have to be right on top of it? No, it can be... Yeah, that's fine. Now this is, it's super simple and effective if you just don't think about it. If you're trying to stay too far in the lines, you're going to get like really particular and it'll take you a long time and you won't be happy with it. What I like to do is just brush stroke from the left hand side of the triangle to the right and then keep working my way down using the triangle as a guide. All right, so you're going to take your brush and you're going to put it on the left hand side of the triangle and swipe it over to the right hand side. Like that. That's it, yeah, and you're going to go underneath, leave a gap. That's it, and just keep working your way down using that tri those triangles as guides. Man. It doesn't matter if you're a little inside or if you go a little over the edge. You can do thicker lines and thin lines and vary, uh, vary them up. Do you wanna try this brush? Yeah. It's obviously better to practice on a bigger piece of paper, especially if you're worried about doing these brush strokes. Yours looks so pretty. Just angle the brush on the side. Like this? This way? There you go. Why am I when so you sick? swipe it across. Oh, that way. Like that way. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So that's more of a look that I like, but you can obviously be more precise about it. And then when we decorate them in the next tutorial, I'll show you just you know, a million ways that you can do this. You can do it just with a pen, you can do it with the mermaid markers, you can even make these strips out of washi tape. Yeah, it's great. James loves washi tape. Everyone loves washi tape. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use this brush just to fill in my tail as well. That looks like tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> Like a Nemo. <laughs> All right. Pre pretend it keeps going that way. Okay. Right. Right there. Use okay. Your uh, so now I've got this brush pen here, which is a Pentel brush pen. You can still do it with this, but I find that the arms people tend to freak out a little. People tend to freak out about the arms. So I'm just gonna do a brush stroke to the elbow, a brush stroke from the wrist to the elbow. 
and then just fill in. What did you do? So you're going to start from the shoulder and bring it into the elbow, so where the curve starts. Right there. That's it, and then go from the wrist, and then bring it back up. Yeah. Ooh. And then you just want to go over your hand. This is where you can bring it back. Yeah, see, so Steve just used his lines as a guide, and then he made the hand smaller. So if you're not happy with something you drew in the guide, just paint over the top of it differently. I'm going to move this out of the way. Now, you can use this for the face too, but then I feel like people get even more upset about getting close to the face. So, I'm going to use this fountain pen. And Steve's going to use the same one. It's a carbon ink fountain pen. And then you're just going to loosely go over the lines you drew. They don't have to be perfect. In fact, I kind of like them to look a little sketchy. Because that's just what I like. So anywhere you drew your red lines, just go over them. Put those lashes in. And then what you want to do is uh, you can just fill in that hair if you feel like it. You don't have to. Obviously, this is just decorative at this point, but I like to fill it in just to tie the whole thing together. I'm just going to show you on this, if you want to use your brush to do the face, you can get some really nice uh, brush stroke face going on. Oh, dang it. Looks like she has a beard. <laughs> that's fine. Alright, so that's just the basics. So you can see that with the triangle, all the triangles and just the circle and that simple face, you can get something that uh, is a really great starting point for, for what you want to create when you're doing mermaids. So now we're going to pack this away and get another piece of paper and we're going to show you how to get decorative with it. Alright, so we're going to do the same uh, principles as just what we did, the under circle and the triangles. We've got these magic ones. I like mine. Somebody's eyeshadow. Dancing Queen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I got Pixie. <laughs> How appropriate. <laughs> so now we're going to get to colouring. I'm going to grab one of these mermaid markers and blend some water through here. Just get some of that flowing. I'm just going to lay a bit of it on the face. And this is watercolour paper so it's easy to blend. Then I'm going to get some clean water and move that around. Now while Steve's doing that, I'm going to take some coral and I'm going to dip it into the cheeks. A little goes a long way with these mermaid markers, so just keep that in mind. So you can do a million things with these bodies. I think I want to draw on the top and then washi tape down the bottom. And I'm going to give her a little shell bra, so just some squiggles. She's modest now. <laughs> All right, chuck the pen away. Uh, let's get some washi tape out. Uh, now I'm just gonna rip off some washi and fill in some of these lines from her tail. This is a bit of a mixed media mermaid at this point, but we're still using the same idea of these brush strokes. We're just replacing the brush strokes with other things. Trying to be fancy over here. I'm gonna try. Steve's not having a bar of it. 
<laughs> You're always trying to be fancy. It's the story of his life. Story of my life. I'm trying to keep up. Here's my problem. I'm a perfectionist. That is your absolutely only problem. Yep. Perfectionism doesn't work with me. I'm way too impatient. That's why I think you're doing great. I hate him to say that. <laughs> that would make no sense. You being in my video? I'm gonna give her shell bra a bit of colour. It'd be like a shell bra slash shawl. Can I use this? Yeah. Can I use something else? Mm -hmm. Like this one? Yeah. No. Mermaids are mermaids. How are you already done? Am I taking too long? I'm quick. <laughs> a lot of practice. <laughs> oh man. You can take as long as you want. Steve is... <laughs> Saying everything he knows, I has to, I have to edit out of this video. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Ooh, how'd you do that? Just put the mermaid markers down and get your water brush or a brush of water and blend the colors together. Go with Kiss Kiss, Candy Floss, and Mystic. Steve's gonna work on her hair, and while he does that, I'm gonna work on my face. So I'm gonna do what we did before and just take my pen and go over the things that were already down there. All right, now comes the fun part where we add lots of more decorations. So I haven't even done the face. Well, you're gonna let that dry, and while you do that, let's just add oh, a ton of stuff. I'm just gonna draw over here some like decorative elements that you can do. Uh, shells are fun, and I would do it like that. You could put little wings on them, like fairies, just like that. Scales, obviously, are really good ones. Steve's already shown you how to do some scales down there. Uh, just frills, any frills you want to put on, crowns. Just make a weird W and connect it. I already put a crown up there. Uh, starfish, obviously really cute. Um, pearl garlands are great for mermaids. What's this? Starfish. Oh, my hair. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Thank um, you for stressing me out. My hair's falling out. <laughs> seaweed and little like, you know, sea life. Kelp? Fauna? Kelp? Flora? Well, seaweed either way, yeah, kelp. Okay, so these are some fun decorative elements you can add on, and um, we're just going to add them. All right, that's it. So there are two best friends going shopping somewhere. I don't know why she's got a tree, but she's taking it with her. <laughs> um, so this is a lot of decoration, but some people might like that. I like it. Um, or you can go as you know simple or as outlandish as you want. But you know, S Steve, what do you think? How hard was it? Uh, it's pretty good. It's not. It's it's surprisingly easy. It just I'm a perfectionist, so it takes me a little bit longer to be some. I like to do details and then I freak out, but the process is actually super manageable. Good. James made it easy. I didn't, but... <laughs> <laughs> the idea is easy, the, the principles are simple to grasp, so... Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you a bunch of examples that I've done and a bunch of different ways that you can decorate them, and then uh, you should have a go yourself. Remember, practice makes perfect. That's true. <laughs>